what's up welcome back to my channel i know i haven't uploaded in a seriously long time but it's a new decade and i just wanted to start things off right and share with you my full moon cleansing ritual there is already so much online about this full moon it's january 10th it's a full moon in cancer while we're in capricorn season i like to think about full moons as like detoxing and releasing and new moons as manifesting and bringing in better energy so that constant like push and pull of energies is what creates your life and is the guide to making space for things for you to manifest so you're not just like manifesting 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 and you're not just like releasing 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 it has like that push and pull so in a month we have a full moon and a new moon and january 10th is our full moon in cancer like i said there's so much information out there on what this new moon means or excuse me this full moon to be honest i think sometimes like the esoteric world the esoteric space and astrology can get extremely confusing and convoluted because there's a lot to it so i like to do it as like simply and as like streamlined as possible just because I'm kind of a minimalist so I mean I could spend all day like talking about like where's Saturn doing and like Jupiter and like the retrogrades and all that and like to a certain point I do pay attention I do pay attention to retrogrades but sometimes like it's just too much man like I don't whatever Pluto is doing like I don't need to know <laughs> I just need to know like what's going on with the moon the sun the stars whatever retrograde and me um and anything else is like a pleasant surprise but if i focus too much on like everything going on up there then it oh, sorry i thought i heard something if i focus too much about what's going on out there then i'm not focusing like what's really going on in my real life or i might make excuses like why things aren't going my way like practical excuses i'll be like well it was in retrograde like no karina you didn't read your email for four days that's why you didn't get that job not because mercury was in retrograde so get real with yourself we have the sun in capricorn and the moon in cancer so capricorn is an earth sign cancer is a water sign so what i will do for this full moon is i'll try to mix elements of earth and water into my self-care routine and like i said today i'm all about like releasing energy and i want to think about capricorn and what does capricorn represent in the zodiac capricorn represents discipline stability growth expansion but most importantly like practicality and upward motion it's a really solid stable foundational sign it's the sign of practicality i mean it's the sign of wealth and money because it's not an emotional sign it's extremely like in order to get to point a to point b like you got to take this direct route like sometimes other signs be like no but we gotta like do the most complicated thing in order to get to point b but like an earth sign especially capricorn is like no 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 no, no. we're gonna keep things simple easy practical because that's all it needs to be everyone is doing their new year's resolutions and setting up the framework for their year so i always always get a planner for the new year so this year i got the many moons workbook it's a lunar planner and it's full of so many amazing um meditations and spell work and it lets you know what's going on in the stars and like i said a lot of that stuff can get really convoluted for me so having it in one practical place that also fits within a practical seven day workday planner makes it's gonna make life so easy for me and i like seeing okay today we're doing this 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 we're accomplishing this 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 makes it super super easy so i highly recommend this planner if that's something that you like to do it's something that i love to do i like to be productive and find the balance between productivity and then like creative like 
feelings and um, allowing space for things to flow in, not just having like that structure. So this works well for me. So that's our sun energy. And then our moon energy, Cancer. Um, first off, water. So anything, a shower, a bath, drinking, lots of water, basically like whatever ways you can find release in that is going to be really effective on this full moon. So what I was thinking about was mixing practicality with emotions because I think there's this misconception that you can't be productive if you're emotional and if you're emotional you're you know maybe not the most productive person and i think there's some truth in that but ultimately it's about being not necessarily like in control of your emotions but aware of your emotions validating them and then finding the best way to release them so that it's not a negative toxic environment because you're like miss managing your feelings you know and obviously every human being on planet earth has feelings has emotions and goes through things and we all respond to them differently finding the most positive way to release those feelings especially if they're negative is i think really 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 important especially in this new decade and as we can see we just I have no words for what is going on in the White House right now. I think, you know, and I kind of, I kind of refrain from talking about politics too much, but I think it is important to understand that we as a collective are, you know, going through this together. Whether you're in favor, which I don't know a single person in favor of World War Three, I think taking those anxious anger toxic feelings and finding a way to move it into a positive direction is going to be really important for this start of the new year this is going to be the start of my kind of full moon ritual so unfortunately i can't share what i'm going to be doing in this planner specifically just because it has really specific footnotes saying that it doesn't want or the creators of this workbook don't want to be I don't know what did they say they put a disclaimer at the end of the book so I'm not going to be detailing the information in this planner just because there's a footnote at the end of this planner with very specific instructions not that the creators of this workbook don't want to be reproduced in any kind of way so definitely gonna honor that if you want this I'll leave a link below to where you can get it but even before I got this planner I was thinking um, how I wanted to make these energies work for me in this full moon but even if you don't have a planner like this or quite understand the different intricacies of the esoteric space just know you're working with an earth sign and a water sign and you're releasing kind of just take things as they come and we'll see we'll see what this full moon has in store for us so i like to take an ochre bath with two white candles i'm also going to be working with clear quartz so what I do is I chop up 22 ochre pods and douse them with a sprinkle of Florida water and about three cups of regular water. I clean the candles and remove that little sticker and wipe them down with Florida water. As you can see, they're pretty filthy. Moving on to cleansing the clear quartz, I do a couple drops of frankincense in a mason jar filled with water and then place that under the light of the moon. This is gonna charge the crystals and the next day you can water the plant with the charged water and this is an example of how you mix the elements together in spell work. Like I was saying before with Cancer and Capricorn. For my tarot spread, I like to clear my area with Palo Santo and my personal space. I shuffle the deck until I feel I'm ready to pull. I generally work in threes when I shuffle, but sometimes I just like to hold my cards and shuffle them a little bit more to get in tune. For the spread, I pulled the Five of Wands, the Page of Cups, the Four of Wands, the Hermit, and the Sun. So after I pull, 
following the prompts in my journal, I reflect on the cards I pulled and what I think they mean. And for me, I still have to reference my book because I'm not a huge expert in tarot yet. I'm self-taught. So for me, the prompts in the journal plus going back to the reference books really helps me think about every element of my life when I do the polls so that I'm really getting the clear messages. I'm also learning as I go. Then I set up my altar and begin to run my bath. Going back to the okra, I massage them until much of the gooey substance is released while simultaneously setting my intention for my release and connecting with spirit or source or God. I really like to meditate on the cards that I had just pulled and I'm thinking about, okay, what do I want to release? What do I want to release? And I say a sweet little prayer over the okra pods until the consistency of gooeyness is achieved. Then when I enter the bath, I think about everything that I'm releasing. I think about the cards I pulled and the five of wands. I I think that has to do with my relationships with my family, especially my sister and and my work and my expectations about things and how I handle conflict. And I think about what are the best ways for me to go forth knowing that I handle conflict a certain type of egotistical way. Like what's the best way for me to not create conflict so that there can be harmony and peace in my life? Because clearly, there is some disturbances especially i think with my relationship with my sister like how can we solve that in a way better like more pra not practical but like you know do i do i really need everything to be about me all the time when i'm thinking about my expectations of her like is that really fair with a page of cups i think about how communicating my ideas into reality is something that i struggle to do because i like to focus sometimes on like negative things i'll focus on stress and bills and and money instead of opportunities and my creative gifts and my creative skills where your focus goes your energy flows so if i'm focusing on negative things then of course all of my energy is going to be dictated towards managing stress with the hermit i always like pulling this card because i always think like living in new york city i love to party i do like i am such a party girl i love to dance i love to go out but it takes such a huge toll on me especially as i get older and understanding that fomo isn't like it's not really real like of course you don't ever want to feel like you're missing out but at the end of the day feeling pressure to go out and have a good time all the time for me is no longer productive to my life and is actually destructive and i think it's okay in recognizing that there are times where you can party productively but if you get too caught up in that lifestyle like it's gonna be draining and I think that's just every time I pull the hermit card which is often is just reminding you like hey bitch it's okay to stay inside and chill and relax and just stay inside and just be focusing on what you want to bring forth instead of seeking validation outside of yourself constantly and then of course the sun the sun i think whenever i pull it represents like my spirit and my youthfulness and my energy and my motivation to be creative and abundant and it reminds me that people are drawn to the energy that i bring when i'm warmth and this is life to the world and pulling the sun with the hermit reminds me that when i show up for myself first i show up for the world so obviously i have a lot to let go of in this little mini therapy session and then I douse the okra water over my head and I massage it into my body and into my hair and into my skin and what I'm really doing is I'm setting the intention of like okay let go let go let go of expectations let go of drama let go of things that are no longer serving you let go of your need to go out and have a good time all the time let go of that negativity because it is no longer serving you and show up for yourself and be there for yourself and take care of yourself bitch like you deserve it